Petsies here with another video, and this video is kind of be kind of different because obviously you can see my face. Um, this is a reptar. Uh, September has been a hell of a month. It's not right, buddy. It's not right, buddy. It's not right, buddy. Um, so uh, next few videos are going to be interesting. This is actually the start of something new called ZJTV, and ZJTV is going to be an awesome thing. It's gonna include a bunch of art videos. Um, it's going to include things like, oh, ah, no, Reptar, no. Why are you eating that? No, you can't eat that, no, sir. First things first, I, I suppose, um, sorry about the inactivity. Um, I just moved into a new place. Obviously you can see the new studio a little bit. Um, I need to get some lights up. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm launching a new page. Um, it's going to be a very, very... Work with me here, but it's going to be very more active than it, where I have been. Um, it's called ZJTV. Obviously, ZJ is my, uh, my initials. Zij. ZJ, up to you. Um, welcome. Okay, so also, um, celebrity interviews or voice actor interviews. I have a lot of them planned out and I've already started doing some of them. And the first one up is actually gonna be the first episode of ZJTV. So stay tuned for that. You may know him. I think you do. All right, pizza pee pets, Zij out and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. All right, bud. I'll take your leave. All right, so uh, welcome to the show, and thank you for taking your time out of your day. I know you're on the other side of the, uh, the world right now. Oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm talking. Of course, I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I actually, sorry, I thought you were uh, you were introducing the show, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. He's welcoming everybody from around the world, and it, it was like. Oh, I think he's talking to you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. Well, I actually pre-recorded um, it like a like uh, an intro or whatever, and then I'm gonna splice it together and, and I'll, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's good, man. Um, well, brother, it was uh, it's an honor to be here and uh, <laughs> share the work and share a few of the stories, you know, and this. Uh, I can't believe it. it's like 30 years. I guess it's well, officially 33 years I've been doing this crazy business. Wow. Well, well, well. I'm 27 now. So whenever, so, whenever I was like really, really young, like I didn't connect the you know the, the dots together to see that you were all over, all over animation and other you know avenues. Yeah. Like, like I had no idea that you played. Raphael in the, the the TV series of the the live action series. Yeah. Of yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the suit for you know Turtles three, um, mm -hmm. so I got jumping around like a you know like a crazy man inside this you know blind deaf and dumb suit. <laughs> uh, and then uh, yeah, they then asked me to do the voice for Raph um, for the Fox Kids um, version of it, and uh, so I was like, yeah, I would love to play Raph. Um, you know. So, um, <laughs> so about that role, you know that that was the probably the only time that we actually got to see a Thip Ninja Turtle, yeah, on screen. Uh, Venus was her name, yeah. Yep. And actually, thanks to the series that you did, um, because you guys met the Power Rangers. You remember the, the Space Ranger uh, combination versus thing? It, it, it was it was a cool special. Um, because of that, you guys have a, uh, like, like in the comic books, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are meeting with the, you know, Power Rangers and everything like that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, whenever you were a Ninja Turtle, 
least for the movie, like, how did you manage to get into that role? You know, it's funny because not realizing at the time how big an iconic series, like say, or a franchise, you know, the, the Turtles was, except for obviously, you know, knowing that it was in the theaters and, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a lot of my, you know, a lot of my friends that were, you know, having kids, you know, at that time too, you know, their kids were like bananas, <laughs> like insane crazy about the Turtles. So that then when I got this audition to actually, you know, um, play one of the turtles I'm like yeah 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 put me in man so it was amazing because um, you know my athletics side of things uh, even though I'm not a gymnast but you know doing track and and you know and, lot, and lots of other stuff like that mm -hmm. it really it fed my my love of sort of being really active and trying a new role um, you know to literally jump inside the suit right and right. so it was so much fun to just like prep for the audition um so i literally watched turtles the first um you know the, the first movie mm -hmm. uh, and just like studied every move that they did studied how wow. <laughs> you know, how he moved and how he did things and you know because the the audition um was going to be about a month later and they said you know we want to make sure that you can do a, a back frip as he said um <laughs> you know by the end and also you're not claustrophobic so being inside the suit mm -hmm. uh, and, and he said you know we want it to be you know um uh honoring what the turtles you know is um but at the same time they're saying make it your own so you know i had so much fun being able to create you know sort of like Raphael, mm -hmm. you know in this, i guess version three um it, you know to go in line with you know all the brilliant work that everyone else has done you know on the other inceptions of the movies and stuff right Great. and uh, yeah so it was really cool because you know, like even when we were filming, um, most of the time I was like, literally I say I was blind, deaf and dumb because I couldn't see a lot of the time because our eyes were pretty much nailed shut, um, except for these little peak holes so that we could sort of navigate, you know, across a room. Yeah, you're pretty much being like Godzilla because that, oh, I, yeah, 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 those, exactly. those, yeah, yeah, those kind of films. Yeah, you know, so it was, it was really cool because, you know, it really got you to trust where you were in the space and if you really failed, you knew it, would, it was really quick. You'd either hit the wall <laughs> or you'd, you know, you'd fall off the ledge or whatever. And, you know, my, my puppeteer, um, Noel, who is part of the Jim Henson people, um, mm -hmm. he also does, he's the puppeteer for uh, Snuffleupagus. Oh, wow. From Sesame Street, right? Wow, and, small world. <laughs> so it's neat. Yeah, like I say, it's like, you know, things I grew up with. Now I'm going, oh, my God, you're my hero, too, you know? <laughs> Um, and so it was a really great working partnership that, you know, to this day, you know, he's, he's a dear friend and, uh, you know, the, the Turtles, I feel like, you know, I feel honored that I got to sort of share what my take on it was, mm. you know, and, and uh, you know, bring, bring to life this iconic character, you know. And, and so from suit acting to voice acting, uh, how did you take from the movie and applied it to Raphael whenever you played them for that uh, like TV voice. series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, you know, same principle applies, honoring, you know, sort of the integrity of, of what the franchise was, right? And so for Raphael, you know, it was obviously, it's like, you know, being true to like where his, you know, where his heart was, mm -hmm. where he lived and, and uh, you know, and so then to, to do it with my voice, um, you know, it, it was such a privilege to be able to do something like that, right? Because, you know, yeah. I was able to work with some of my, some of my best friends and, um, because we recorded it up in Vancouver. So, um, you know, I was friends already with the other, with the other guys, um, that ended up being the turtles, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah that's crazy. So it was pretty cool. You know, it's, uh, so every day, you know, we get to, for 44 episodes, I guess, um, you know, we got to go to a studio over on the North shore and, uh, mm -hmm and record and just, you know, basically follow, you know, what our other friends had done in the live action part of being inside the suit. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Oh yeah, it, you know, it was cool. It was, it was, it was a neat way to kind of like wrap up and sort of say like, okay, I put a bow tie on Raphael, right? Well, and you did a really good job because he was very brash and he was, he was outgoing. And my, uh, my question is, do you actually like pizza like Raphael? I love pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. I, uh, you know, I, um, I think I'm like every other, you know, person that's like, there's a reason pizza is just such a good food. <laughs> it's a, 
the lead, you know? I have a tendency to put a lot, lot more probably healthy stuff on it than, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, a few years ago, maybe I would have, but, mm. uh, you know, now I put like broccoli on it and all sorts of things. So, you know. I actually have to try that. I'm, I'm pretty much a health freak too. Like I run every day. I, yeah. I was in the military for several years, so I have this lifestyle of either be healthy or you're yeah. fat. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, and sometimes it's, it's, it's amazing to keep it that simple, right? You know, because, yeah. you know, you ask yourself, like, how do I feel when I move? And I feel good about myself. I feel mm -hmm. good in my clothes. I feel, you know, just good. You just feel good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, like, speaking of, you know, filming, well, voice acting in Canada, a lot of the old anime, like, characters were always filmed in uh, Canada. Like, DBZ, Sailor Moon. Gundam, Gundam Wayne, they always had Canadian actors. Yeah. And you guys usually have your little circle who, uh, I know you and Sam played two of the main characters on Gundam Seed. Like you played Kira and uh, he played Atherin. Yeah. So what, what was that like whenever you were, uh, how did you get into anime? like in the first place yeah you know it's there's one there's one primary studio here in vancouver um they're called ocean studios and they oh, yeah. probably, you know they do like 90 percent of of the of anime i bet now it's mm. probably more like 100 percent um and so you know once again it was a neat place that like everybody okay when you got hired at ocean there's a pretty good chance you're going to do an anime series mm -hmm. right? and so you know same thing an art form that i did had no idea what it was you know until like the first you know the, the, the first one that i ended up getting um mm -hmm. you know and it was such a cool education into like this really cool art form that mm -hmm. then you know i was then gifted to be able to say okay you know let's see if i could you know what we call paint between the lines so, you know, <laughs> so basically you're in before the person starts talking and you're out before they finish talking and then the you know the editor can splice it all together and you know wow. make it make it like it's you know it, it matches the animation right so um so what was your first anime role was it the captain n one no captain n was my first prelay actually that was yeah that was the first saturday morning um sort of you know for me like oh my god we all grew up watching you know I, I grew up myself watching like you know mighty mouse and like the super friends and <laughs> you know adventures in he-man and all that um mm -hmm. and so for me to get um captain n which apparently was pretty popular for i guess for the first little bit um you know just because of nintendo and all that right right um, it, but it was so neat to be able to you know to sort of like for the first time see the work that i'd done be on saturday morning cartoons like i just thought that was just so cool yeah right? it was only the beginning of it i, I guess so because yeah. uh yeah really? like <laughs> yeah oh man so rodent warriors like whenever now that now that i know that it's you like the whole armor of wildfire now yeah. she the, the whole thing like that's definitely you like yeah. like whenever you got into uh ryo's role like yeah. were you supposed to just talk at yourself or were you trying to you know make something more like energetic young or was that how you were back then uh you know what it was really it's so funny because like yeah i think it was really it was just like they said okay we like this voice it's you it's you so just be you right and you know yeah. and like, so thankfully i could sort of blast out all these lines and you know sweat my brains out because you know screaming like that and and like you know holding like these long 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 screams and yeah you know, like, yeah i was oh man <laughs> uh, i feel <laughs> oh, man. man i feel for the uh the the DBZ actors because they they're, they're screaming for hours it seems like oh yeah oh absolutely yeah all right so getting into the the meat and potatoes Gundam Seed Gundam Seed Kira Yamato the one of the main three Gundam pilots that we saw yep. like I had no idea like I could tell because during the first few episodes of Etta and Eddie. Um, I, I want to say the first episode where never you're like, hey Johnny, nice haircut. Yeah. And then uh, you can hear his voice and I can compare it to Kira's voice and it's pretty much the same thing. 
<laughs> yeah. So, like, whenever you did Kira in um, Gun and Seed was a very, very long series. Like, did you ever get tired of doing a long series like that? No, you know, because as an actor, right, it's like, you know, we get paid per episode. So, mm-hmm. you know, 100 episodes is like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a gig for a while, right? So, I mean, that was yeah. the beauty of, especially some of the anime stuff, because, you know, some of it was hundreds of episodes, right? So we kind of knew, even though it didn't pay as much as, say, a prelay series, but, mm-hmm. you know, you kind of know, you go, okay, well, all right, that's how much I'm going to make on that. That's how much I'm going to make on that. And this is how mm-hmm. long I'm going to work, right? right? So for an actor, it's a great way to go, all right, I'm working. I got a gig, right? So right. it's a whole, you know, so it, so the, the inspiration to keep adding to the role mm-hmm. also inspired because we go, okay, the more we keep doing good stuff, the more they keep hiring us, the more, you know, the more we work, right? I, I, I believe you. Like, yeah. I believe you on that. So, what's the difference between a prelay series and one that's not a prelay series? So, yeah, so anime is where it's pre recorded, or, or sorry, it's already been pre animated. So, that's mm-hmm. what we call it um, ADR. So, um, okay. digital replace, replacement or whatever. Um, and so, on anime or ADR, we go into okay. a studio most of the time by ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then we, we literally see the scene that they want us to do. And then mm-hmm. you'll hear three beeps. And then you say your lines. When those three beeps are done, hopefully you made the timing. Uh-huh. Uh, and then you move on to the next line. Whereas um, Prelay is like what, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Captain Nintendo was. Okay. And, and all the other stuff. Because we do the voices first, right? And we record as a cast. And then they animate it after uh-huh. we record it. Like after oh. we record okay. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you weren't on X Men Evolution for very long. I know. Whenever uh, Havoc got introduced, uh, there was a like a special between him and Scott and Magneto, and then that happened. Um, how did you fall into? Like, how do you fall into a, a part where you're not in the whole series for a long time? Um, You know what? It's like, that's the job of an actor, right? It's like, you know, mm-hmm. especially say for voiceover, we're really lucky because a lot of the time we'll have the script, well, all the time we'll have the script with us, right? Mm-hmm. So we don't have to memorize lines and stay, you know, you, you stay in character by doing it a bunch of times. But let's say my character has a big break between episodes and you know the good thing is is they've always got what you've done especially the takes that the producers and the director really love Mm -hmm. and why they hired you for something um usually they have that on hand so Mm -hmm. you know like let's say i get out of you know like i'm not really doing the voice the way they're like ah you're kind of you're a little too low or you're a little too high or whatever um then they'll play me a line you know on on one of the good takes right Um, right so um, and so it's a great way it's for them to be able to go, okay, good, he's doing the voice. And it's a great way for the actor then to go, oh, great, okay, I'm, I'm doing the voice that they hired me for, right? So, right. Yeah. Because, like, the first few episodes, well, actually, the first few episodes of pretty much every series, they've always got your, what they call, like, the money take. Mm-hmm. So the one that got you hired, mm-hmm. um, and it's the one that is able to get you back into the character, mm-hmm. right? Um, so they'll usually keep that or a couple different examples. So, you know, if it'll be like, ah, it doesn't sound right. And then they'll play it for you and you go, oh yeah, right. Okay, perfect. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> like, yes, that's it. <laughs> uh, it's, it sounds like it's a job in itself. <laughs> well, yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so what blew me away is whenever I was like, like trying to figure out who exactly you played, you played Ban Kotsu in Inuyasha. Dude, you've seen it all, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, oh man. Okay, so playing Bankotsu must have been uh, like, like very, very fun because was, he, he was a fun he, character. Oh yeah, he was bad, bad, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun because you know a lot of the time I get put, you know played to, or sorry hired to play you know this little like, these young like energetic, you know mm-hmm. job. Or whatever so it was really fun to play a character that like really wanted to take over the world <laughs> you know? it was like so it just takes on a whole other different element right because yeah. you know it's nice to be able to play in that sandbox too right? you know um 
they're actually making a sequel to Inuyasha with uh, their children. Oh. Uh, do you think that you're going to reprise your role as Banco 2? Probably not. You know, I mean, unless they unless they recorded it in Vancouver, but I don't think they are. Uh, although maybe you know more than I do. I don't know. I, I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> yeah. But I, I was assuming that if you guys are going to, like, reprise your roles as the characters, I know that, like, you guys have iconic character, you know, voices that Inuyasha wasn't ever redubbed in, like, you know, the... Like in English, you mean? Or yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I think it is. It's one of those things that just, like, for the very reason that a lot of stuff comes to Vancouver, mm -hmm. it, it possibly went from somewhere else, right? Um, right. And, you know, stuff that was recorded here originally, you know, that's that's the thing, right? Um, flavors change. People want to move on to different things. And, you know, sometimes even producers go, okay, you know, let's see if we can do it. I, I, I heard that there was a lot of, I think there's, uh, I think there's a place in Texas that I know did a lot of anime sort of right around the same time that Vancouver was mm -hmm. doing a lot and possibly now maybe that maybe it does like a lot of it too. I don't know. Uh, uh, Funimation is in well, Texas. It. So yeah, yeah they, they, they still do a lot of the newer anime. Oh, do they? Okay. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, I mean the last anime I did for Ocean here was a couple of years ago and it was, uh, it was, it was, um, two really famous uh i think they're south korean mm -hmm. and and it's really good i'm just but i'm just hammering myself for the um what's the name of it i can't remember um uh, if i remember i'll tell you but um uh, but you know same thing it was so much fun to play you know a character that interestingly enough was a lot like you know the guy that i played in um uh um what do you call it transformers you know, he had that same kind of like, yeah, let's do this, and kind of always getting into trouble, you know, and then kind of going like, whoops, <laughs> after he's kind of like blown up the whole city. Oh, right? that, that, that's funny because the, the the next thing I was going to talk about is the two roles that you did in Transformers. There was Transformers Armada, well, where, you were, where you were uh, Carlos, and yeah. then in Transformers Energon, you were Ironhide. Yeah. Ironhide's the, uh, the Transformer, the, the blue Transformer that blows stuff up. Yeah. The one that you probably yeah. were referring to. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my buddy Carlos too, man. He's a, he's a good guy. I like him. He was so fun to play. You could do accents very well, oh man. <laughs> well, you know, we tell that to the powers that be then, you know, and they can hire me on some more stuff. That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure someone's going to be looking out for you. <laughs> you know what? I, yes, I agree. You know, it's... Uh, I think sometimes, you know, I think in a way, sometimes when we have a little bit of a break between stuff, you know, it either gets us fired up to do, you know, the next or mm -hmm. set of stuff, you know, so that's sort of how it feels right now, you know. So what was it like doing uh, the Transformers role? Did you grow up on the, the 80s Transformers? Well, uh, you're probably already grown then, so. No, yeah, but I, I, it's funny, I've never actually watched a lot of cartoons, except for, you know, like you're saying, when I was a kid, you know, the Super Friends, and mm -hmm. Mighty Mouse, and Superman, and all that stuff, but um, I didn't watch, like, I've barely, I've actually not watched a lot of, say, like, Ed and Eddie, I've never watched any of the Turtles, um, you know, series, I've never watched any of the mm -hmm. movies and stuff, but every once in a while, I'll, I'll catch something, and I'll be like, oh, oh, nice job, Luke, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, it's, uh, yeah, I always feel weird watching my own stuff. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like uh, talking to yourself in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Ed's, Ed's probably the only one that I, like, I listen to, and I'd be like, oh, okay, I like to hang out with him, you know. <laughs> okay, so you did uh, uh, Sonic Underground 2? Yep. I, I don't remember which role you did, but I know that you oh. did on Sonic. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I really, no, I don't remember. Mm. Uh, huh? And you got me there. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you having a role in Street Sharks too. Yeah. Yeah. Get a like, job. Jab. <laughs> jab. Yeah. That was fun. Because, like, it's funny, all these characters, they kind of live in the same neighborhood. Like, you know, Jab, mm -hmm. a little bit like Ironhide, mm -hmm. a little bit like, you know, so and so. And, you know, it's so, so. 
like that's why I say it's been you know while well, you said it it's like being able to play characters that are kind of like super close to what my own natural sort of like you know sound is yeah my, my energetic level that's that for me was just fucking so much fun right yeah I think it's, it's absolutely cool but like the 90s in particular were was the whole like get out be active the extreme level of you know the radical and like explosions and you know turn the computer off and get out and actually go play yeah. like i think you helped represent that with the, the amount of extreme that you come like that you pitch with your voice nice it, yeah. I, I think that well, at least that's how i saw it Right, right. Whenever I grew, when I was growing up, because you're pretty much all over my childhood. <laughs> I love that. That's such a great. I'm gonna tell my girlfriend that night. I'm like, dude, I talked to you. It was I was all over his childhood, <laughs> and, and she'd be because my gal Maria is a voice actress as well. She'd be like, oh my god, tell Zach I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that that's crazy. That, that that's crazy. Okay, so out of every one of your roles, uh, which one stuck out the most? Oh, wow. Um, I know there's it, a lot. Yeah, but you know what? It's really, it's, um, I'm definitely being, getting to get play my buddy Ed uh, probably still to me gives me the most joy in terms of like, because I now get asked, um, have you ever heard of this thing called Cameo? Cameo? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. heard of that. Yeah, well, they asked me to join um, because interestingly enough, the, one of the co-founders, his favorite cartoon growing up was Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> right? So he literally was like, okay, I have no idea if this guy will say yes to joining the cameo, but you know, he reached out and, and said, I liked what they stand for. I like that they mm -hmm. do a ton of, um, they do a lot of uh, fundraising stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So literally I, I, I started in March and uh, it's been so much fun, you know, getting like a, I'll get a request on my phone, mm -hmm. right? And, and then literally, Somebody will ask me to say, you know, happy birthday to their 27 year old kid or, you know, or their husband or their wife or, you know, and, and interestingly enough, it, it's probably 90% of them are probably for Ed, but mm -hmm. the 10% are for all these other characters that you just mentioned, right? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's so, like, it's fun to be able to go like, hey, yo, 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 it's Kira from Gundam Seed, you know, happy mm -hmm. birthday, Lana, I hope, you know, reach for your dreams kind of thing, right? And, <laughs> That's you know, cool. And yeah. It's like, hi, Zach, happy birthday, um, <laughs> and many happy chickens to you, right? It's, <laughs> That's it's, so cool. It's, that, it's That's the coolest fun. thing ever. Yeah. I mean, they're brilliant <laughs> for putting it together. So um, I feel honored that they would, uh, you know, ask me to do do that it's just like, once again it's just a gift that just keeps on giving you know so uh oh you did my little pony too yes i did oh man that's <laughs> a guy named soren who's like a again a little bit kind of in my wheelhouse mm -hmm. you know an extreme sports uh, pony so you know when they when they put the characters out there um, it was awesome because like the director and the producer, they're like, dude, we know who needs to play this part. So it was so much fun just to, you know, kind of get their vote of confidence already to say like, Matt, mm -hmm. you know, we know where you come from. So, you know, because I literally just finished running around North America. Yeah. Uh, when I got back, we were literally, they're like, hey, man, we got this role. It was made for you. His name's Thorin. It's named after the creator's um, son. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I'm like, dude, I'm in. So, you know, it's been been very 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 good fun yeah that, that, that's absolutely cool okay so he, here's a here's a twist okay all three characters kira ed um havoc Raphael. if they're all in the same room together how would they interact with each other oh that'd be what a party <laughs> <laughs> see well you know Raphael would be mixing drinks uh, uh is this a pg show no. Is this a general PG show or is that, okay? So it's okay to say Raphael be mixing drinks. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay, so Raphael be mixing drinks and you know, um, let's see, Carlos will be spinning like doing you know spinning like like some tunes, right? <laughs> yeah. The in the back, probably have like a headband on like you got on because I used to have a headband like that. Yeah, um, I gotta keep the sweat out. <laughs> oh, hey, brother, you and me both. Um, and say like, and then Ed would be uh, the life of the party. He'd be like the guy going coming through everybody dancing and he like oh, oh, kick my feet kick my feet hold on. right but he'd have like hors d'oeuvres and stuff you know all that and then uh 
all my anime characters would all be having like this this total like full-on like rap session together oh man like, that that's cool. cool yeah and then it would just be like a full-on solid dance party you know and you'd have like soren <laughs> literally soaring over top of the whole party you know so <laughs> it, it's just so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that, that is, that, that's cool. Um, I forgot to say, sorry, I, I forgot to say, because then Tenderheart would wrap the whole thing up saying, you know, you guys, I love you all. You're all awesome. Thank you for coming to my, you know, my party. And can I swear on your show? Yeah. Okay, so you'd be like, you, yeah, I love you all. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh right. man, that's great. That's so <laughs> um, I, I, I didn't want to ask this, but Oh, you need to. It's okay. 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 So during the Ed, Ed and Eddie movie, yeah. the what was the scam that pissed all of the kids off in order for like to make the Eds lead to call the sack? Oh, wow. God, that's like, I think, our, you know, it's so funny. Like we never signed an NDA, but like, I know there's like this little thing inside my brain that's going like, I can feel the creators going like, don't tell him. <laughs> or we will find you and we will <laughs> no i actually don't know i actually have no idea wow just, just like people have asked before what's underneath double d's hat i'm like mm -hmm. i don't think it'd be pretty let's put it that way uh there's speculation is that he yeah. has like scars or something or he's bald or yeah maybe maybe yeah you know or he just like pulls it all back and puts it in a bun who knows right yeah uh, okay so the scam was that bad that pissed everyone off. Uh, I think Johnny had like a bear trap on it on his uh, his head, and people had things bitten off and missing. Yeah. What do you think happened? What do I think happened? I think it was just a whole lot of just a whole lot of weather came in <laughs> <laughs> and just like you know completely blew that whole place apart. I just really think it was just, you know, just, no, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm giving the lamest answer. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, maybe another one of those uh, theme parks, but mm -hmm. it went, went bad. But it was like super, super big, like super big. Yeah, 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 I like that. Let's go with that. I think that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yep, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. So if Ed was able to pilot a Gundam, how do you think he would act? Oh, it would be very erratic flying buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, you think of Ed, think of me when I think when Ed's running, he's running through the scene with his head <laughs> way back. <laughs> Right, like this, you don't think he's gonna drive any less crazy? <laughs> so, you know, probably be constantly like driving up like this, going, oh, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I actually don't have any more questions. Um, I guess say something, That's good. Uh, I, huh? That's good. No, no, good. Yeah, yeah. See, now you're like, say something funny, man. I, I guess uh, say something from each of your, your characters. Let's like, uh, say something from Ryo, say something from right. Ed, say well, something Ryo, from Raphael. So you tell me then, okay, so I'll say, okay, so Ryo, hey everybody, take care, be cool to yourself, take care of everyone. Okay, uh, say something from Ed. Uh, Ed would say, um, uh, always believe in you, um, and your, uh, believe in your dreams and also kick your feet always because <laughs> that will help you get, uh, to the next, um, uh, square. Of okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two more characters. Uh, do, you, uh, Bankotsu. Bankotsu, you better have a good life and be good. Be good to your mother or I'm going to come and I can take you away. Yeah. Live a good life. <laughs> and let's uh, let's do uh, Kira because Kira is your normal voice. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Um, you know, uh, for real in these wild, crazy COVID times, um, you know, just take care of yourselves and um, be good to each other. Keep calm. Carry on. You know, wash your hands. <laughs> put your mask on. 
and you know just keep being kind to each other because i think that's what we really need right now too right yeah you know? we definitely need that you know and everybody listen to zach's show like a ton because it needs to go like over the top <laughs> I, yeah. I definitely appreciate it i definitely appreciate yeah. the time uh, i definitely uh we definitely have to do this again maybe get Absolutely. sam vincent and yeah. other get the other gundam people together we have like a gundam Absolutely. little panel yep um, you know I, we could also we could always get I know Sam's always into stuff like that so I'm I'm sure I could get me and you know I could probably get Sam for sure and the two of okay. us could knock your ear off for an hour or so you know that that would be a, a fantastic idea yeah. imagine uh, Akron and Kira and uh, Ed and Double D <laughs> that that would be that would be a cool thing definitely gonna plan it for the next one please do absolutely let me know because uh, I'll I'll get Sam he's in he's a good guy. Ah, oh, sweet. All right. Okay, buddy. All right. All right. Thanks, I brother. definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Take care. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. One more thing. Um, like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell because there's going to be a lot more things going on. And happy October. Remember to stay positive, peeps and peepets, or everybody in between. Um, Thank you for being here with me as I do these types of videos and um, prepare to see my face more. <laughs> All right, see ya.